Oh, well, let's go again. Okay, don't die. <laughs> the fish like constantly asks for you to kill it, and then when you actually do say die, he's like, wait. I've still got more to say. Travel out. I'm smart. No, not that. Uh... Seemingly designed to just give you RSI, isn't it? Gives you more less yep, slow down.
nice. Hmm. If we touch the save point in the middle in front of this, could we not just KYS right afterwards? Still like a whole bunch of running. Uh, where the fuck are we? Huh? Yeah, here we are. What the fuck? Yeah, there's that room, there's this room. Whereas we can just respawn over there. Yeah, that seems like a plan. So that is a waste. Oh boy, I might die. Imagine dying to this boss. Not trying to mess this up too badly. Like it's simple, but you can also botch it. So supposedly sub-9 is possible, but my summer best is only two seconds under it. But like I say, I think if you hit the checkpoint in the middle of the arena, in front of the third boss, after the second boss, you could probably just kill yourself in going through the port instead of going through the portals and get warped over there a little quicker with full health. Plus, did, is this the one where he took an intentional death? for now though.
There's probably a way to do the first boss quicker because I'm too busy hiding behind pillars. Like, there's no cooldown on a regular shooting, and if you can mash, mash fast enough whilst evading the bullets of everything else, you can probably take it down a whole lot quicker. For speedrun stuff, if there was a way to avoid the fish and get to the first boss without needing to make the leaf platforms come out, that'd be great. And if there was a way to jump up to the levers that didn't involve going through the corridors with slow ass cobwebs, that'd be great. But oh well. It's not like the run's slow or anything. 